And people ask, well, what, what does that do exactly? Well, it does many things. That's the problem. Mainly, it's an over-the-horizon radar, but you can also use this grid, as I've already mentioned, to deploy scalar globes to either change our weather, to uh, cause people to go crazy. You can use it to deploy weapons, as they did with the Challenger disaster, and you can also use it to cause mental or physical illness. We'll talk more about that a little later. But you can see there how those beams might intersect all over the nation in that fashion. Now, the question has been raised many times, if the Russians have had the power like this in so many ways to take us out for around 30 years, but they haven't, why is that? Well, fair question. There's a reason for this. The number one reason is that, of course, the times and the seasons are in the hand of Yahweh God. We don't know what, these, what, the, what his timetable is, and of course, obviously, neither do the Russians. So if this is going to happen, it's going to happen when we, he wants to, to, and not one second before. But additionally, the Russians aren't the only nation with these weapons. There are four or five other nations that have these weapons, and some of them are our friends. And so over the years, um, we have actually had several occasions when the Russians were, in fact, deploying these weapons against us, and they were stopped by allies. The most obvious example here is in 1986, April. The Russians were, were sending energy toward both the, the L.A. and San Francisco corridor to try and create a massive earthquake that would cause catastrophic damage and loss of life. Well, some secretive little U.S. group, quote-unquote, that had access to scalar technology themselves came in and fired back. And this caused a feedback loop which sort of bounced back all the way across to the Soviet Union and caused the Chernobyl disaster. And so that kind of taught them a lesson. Now, that was an unintended consequence of, of what they did. But the interesting thing is, is by doing that, they figure they saved around 200,000 American lives. So, you know, good for them. Then, in the same year, 1986,